Good morning, my friends. This is Dante coming back for another walk and talk. I know it's been a while since we've done these regularly, but it looks like April is going to be a month for me to have a lot more time to do them. You know, I've talked about in the past about how important it is to try to get some kind of routine going, but I'm going to tell you, I know as well as anyone how much life gets in the way of being able to do the things you want to do when, when you want to do them. When I was first starting this way of eating, this way of living, I was going to work at like 9 a.m. in the morning. It made it a lot easier to get up early and get that walk in and be able to talk to you for a while and do some video editing and then get off to work. Then even after that, I was living off my savings for several months when I first moved to Florida. And that made it easy to have the time to do the things I wanted to do and to have a routine. But since I started working again over a year ago, I started working again a, on a job where I had to be up at 9 a.m. So that, that also made it easy. But then I started working at UPS and boy did that throw off my routine big time because I was working in the middle of the night and was it difficult to get myself straight then. My circadian rhythm was all out of balance. I never knew when, I never knew what day it was. It was so crazy with the the time changing of my schedule and I was getting so much exercise at work. The last thing I wanted to do when I get home was do exercise. As a matter of fact, I got so much exercise at work, I really messed up my back and the ligaments in my arms for a while now. I left there in February of this year, and here it is, the beginning of April, and I am still feeling the pains that came from working on that job. My arm tendons, I still have golfer's elbow and tennis elbow. And it's made it very difficult to get back on track with any type of normal exercise routine. But, you know, I've found that if I can keep my short-term goals good, that I can get back on track. Throughout March, I focused on getting back on a more steady lion diet, getting rid of the dairy products and even butter, cutting out any of the, the bacon and pork that I'd been having when I started working at this new job because they offer us food to eat there, but they don't give me beef. <laughs> they do offer some pretty good breakfast sausage and bacon, but I started putting on weight again. And the only thing that I was eating different was adding the pork. So I can't understand that why some people tell me that they can eat all the pork they want and still lose weight. I started gaining weight on it. And I've heard others have had that complaint as well. So I've been getting back to a more strict lion diet for April. And also what I've been doing for April, and this I haven't really recorded any of, is I've started doing some 10 minute yoga in the morning to get some stretching going on. I'm so bad about stretching. I hardly ever want to stretch and when I do start to stretch, I don't do it long enough. So I've been finding a YouTube video every morning to watch a 10 minute yoga session so that I have somebody to kind of guide me through getting those 10 minutes in at least. And hopefully over time I'll be able to stretch that out to a longer period because I can really feel the difference before I get out and go walk like this when I'm stretched out as opposed to being all tight it makes a huge difference. So for April, that's the focus right now because my current job is seasonal and this month is gonna be extremely slow. They're cutting us down to about four days a week and even then, you know, normally on my job because I walk a lot, I get about four miles a day of exercise. I have to really find an excuse to get a couple of miles in every day right now because there's just not enough to reason to go walking all the floors of the hotel. I work in in-room dining, so I have to go pick up trays and I have to deliver food to people. So that allows for a lot of walking. And I like it because I can do it as fast as I like. I'm walking on carpet and I'm pushing a cart, so it gives me a little bit extra resistance. And it's been good exercise. It might be part of the reason why I've put on a little bit of weight because I'm walking even more now than I was before, at least up until this month. So I'm adding back in some morning walks, but my schedule is still a bit bananas because some days I go in at five in the morning and that's too early to get up and go walking out here in the dark with all these wild animals running around out here. But I'll be able to get some exercise in that day. I've been spending more time getting sun when I can, which I can't wait to talk to you guys soon. I, I'm going to be put, I'm putting together a video talking about my blood work.
So give me some time on that, but I can tell you it's all good news. I want to make sure I present it properly. And since I am still working all the time, and I have a number of other projects I'm working on for videos for you guys, it's difficult to sometimes get those numbers out as quickly as I would like. But I did talk about the testosterone issue, and that has been exciting. It's been very good to see that my body is getting back to a normal stasis. I'm not continuing to be in an unhealthy life. And even after two years of eating this way and living this way, it just seems to keep getting better. You know, I'm gonna be 51 this year, and I feel better than I ever have, with the exception of the pains in my, my tendons from all the, the work I did at UPS and in my back still. But I am seeing a chiropractor for that, and I am doing the stretching, so hopefully we'll see some progress in that area. And April's gonna give me some time to, to heal my body some and get back on track with walking time with you guys. I've really missed being here doing our walk and talks, and I know a lot of you really enjoy the encouragement that I give by coming out and doing these. But believe me, I know about crazy lifestyle and not being in control of what time you can do things and not always having the regularity that you would like to maintain a routine. The key is never quit. You just gotta never quit. You gotta find an excuse to get out there and do what you gotta do. Ultimately, you just gotta say, screw it, I'm gonna get up and do it. And don't let anything stand in your way. But don't be late for work either. I know a lot of you guys have gotta maintain a job. And for those of you who are retired and watching my channel, Thank goodness you guys can do what you need to do. It doesn't hurt to have that routine if you can have it. Isn't that right, Sam? <laughs> Got Sam here with me again today. He has really been happy to be out walking again. Because every morning I go to work, he, he looks at me like, are, are we going walking today? Are we going walking today? I'm like, nope, sorry, Sam. I got to go to work today. Sun isn't out yet. We haven't got time to go walking. I will say something that has been an interesting thing I've noticed because I do a lot more activity now than I ever did before. I talked to you guys about at the beginning of this diet how I started being able to go to sleep at the drop of a hat. I still have that, that's wonderful. But I would wake up very early and be ready to just to go jump on my day. Well, since I've been doing this much exercise, I find that I want to sleep more. And my body, I still wake up ready to go when I'm ready, to, when I do get up. And even though my, my rhythm isn't in balance, I mean, I'm going to bed at different times because sometimes I work at night, sometimes I work in the morning. And that's got me adjusting my, my sleep schedule to either say between 8 and 3 a.m. or 10 and 6 a.m. But I'm getting a good seven to eight hours of sleep most nights. And that's a lot more than I was getting at the beginning because I feel like my body just needs the recovery time. And it may have something to do with the fact that I'm still healing from what I put myself through at UPS. But I've had people ask me if that makes you feel more fatigued doing all the exercise while on carnivore. And I haven't noticed that I've had any more fatigue during the day. I just noticed that I am sleeping more. And if I have the time, I want to get that extra rest in the morning. So I would say no on the fatigue but my body does need more recovery time. I don't mind that because it, it feels good to have my body where I've always wanted it to be. Healthy, strong, ready to take on the day. And I'm telling you guys, if you started off the way I did, overweight, out of shape, not ever having time to exercise, even though I probably could have made the time, it was really more of a motivation issue Changing the way I eat changed everything and they can certainly do it for others Because I've had so many people on this channel come in and comment and tell me how this diet has changed their lives Has opened their eyes to what they've been missing by stuffing their face with comfort food all the time Trying to put away the pains and the problems that they deal with every day Not focusing on what's really important and feeding your body the fuel you need to feed it. Lion diet, ruminant meat, water, and salt was the key for me. Not everybody does such a strict diet, but any type of carnivore diet can probably help you. Other carnivores eat pork, seafood, things like that. And you know, there are some benefits to eating seafood, and that's that you get your iodine naturally. People ask me why I supplement iodine. It's because I don't eat the seafood. I've been sticking with the ruminant animals because that's where I get the most healing from my body. 
and what I've been dealing with with the gut issues I used to have. Thankfully, I haven't had any of those in well over a year. It has been amazing. The only time I ever have any gut issues is when I eat something I shouldn't eat on this diet, which is not very often anymore because I just don't have those cravings anymore. So stick with it. You'll find that you adjust to it and you'll be more satiated eating only meat. You'll find that you don't have hunger all the time and you can live life. And that's what I want to see for everyone here. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?